I am finally doing Vernon's shirt from 17th Heaven medley trailer thing. I'm doing it in green and white instead of, it was gray and white. But this is literally all the yarn I bought for it. This was back when I did my 17 video, which is years ago, eons ago. And I also have no idea how to make this cardigan. I've always wanted to make one but I'm gonna have to look it up. And plus, I think this yarn is too thin. This is a weight two yarn. It probably would have been nicer with a weight three. <sighs> So mine's gonna be a bit more fine, I think. I'm gonna look up how to make these things and then we'll, and then, and then I don't know. <laughs> okay, I feel simultaneously more and less sure of what I'm doing now and I'm so sad. Like I thought it was gonna be an easy, like I thought it was gonna be one of those shirts and I didn't know what they were called, but I knew that you just like crochet them all and then you fold them and then you sew it together and it's like, wow, it's a shirt now. And I found out those are called Relaxagon shirts which sounds intense. That sounds like a Pokemon or something, but cause it's like in a hexagon and I really want to make like, you know, like a hexagon cardigan too, but I'm like, that's what I wanted to make. But then I realized, cause the first video that I watched on YouTube was by Show Me Rami. And it was like him specifically saying that it's not a relaxagon shirt, which makes sense because the way it is, like the sleeves are separate from the thing. So it's not the way they're usually done. And that's upsetting because that's the kind of shirt that I wanted to do. But now I'm like, well, I, I want to make Vernon's shirt. And part shirt is purple, not gray, but that's besides the point. The point is I'm sad. <laughs> like I'm happy that I have this video to help me because he did a pretty good job. The only thing is I'm very, very not looking forward to the sleeves because he struggled with it and he seems like he has a lot of crochet knowledge and I'm just like, I have no idea. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna see what happens. And if I don't like it, I can always scrap it. I don't think I'll have enough yarn anyway. I'm, uh, we'll see. Okay, so first step is done. We've got, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin it. Uh, half a granny square. And when you look up how to do a half a granny square, they just show you like the other half, like how to make a triangle. So I guess it's supposed to be obvious or whatever, which I guess it is, but I just wanted to make sure so that I don't mess up from the beginning. But it, it was pretty simple because <laughs> it's just doing the three clusters instead of four and then continuing if there's like a space then you do the three crochet cluster double crochet cluster in there and if there's not a space then you just put the one double crochet or the chain on the end here so that it stays straight and somehow I managed to do it <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect to be able to do it this is the back so I'm just gonna literally copy Rami Rami because this is where his was at I don't know if I said I did it's all like double crochet granny stitch and then I did four rows of each color for each stripe and I think I think it's good <laughs> So this is where I'm gonna start the sleeves. And what he did was he just chained a bunch for the sleeves. But look, mine's not even long enough to the point where the sleeves should be, which I didn't really take into consideration. Or maybe it's like just, just enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm working from this corner. So I guess I'll just chain the amount of stitches that are across here and then attach onto here at the very bottom because this is the, as long as I can give myself. And hopefully that's enough. So I didn't really consider that being an issue because this is very short. So I'll just do that and then I'll continue on across here and then I'll, from this corner, chain a bunch and then just... <sighs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with my brain this morning. All my information has just abandoned me. I have no recollection of anything. What is it called? Slip stitch into this. <gasps> Today is gonna be difficult. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I have important things to do today and my brain just doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, I forgot to do a yarn check. <laughs> so this is what I have left for my first two skeins. I am kind of worried because this is what, like an eighth of my yarn? Hello. Am I an eighth of the way finished? Probably not. But I do freaking love this because just look at this. I have not crocheted like a big piece with a thinner yarn yet and it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. Highly recommend. And I thought it would be too thin, but I think it's perfect. I think it's perfection. It's a weight too, I think. Well, I like, I like. Can't buy this kind of stuff at Michael's though, so. 
Okay, so I've got this. I tried to keep my chains loose because I, <laughs> I don't want it to be too tight, but I think I did it too much. And then I was confused about what to do for the corner, so I ended up doing the full corner, which is maybe weird and maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. It doesn't feel tight like this, but again, I made the thing loose. So I feel like I made the chain super loose. So the chain is a lot longer. So I don't think I can even check if it's gonna work until I do the first row of granny stitch. So I'll do that first, I guess. The way I did it doesn't make sense because I'm doing this and then how the freak I can't get back to how how and my brain's not working so I can't even like think it through. I'm just kind of sitting here like staring at it like I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> ah! Maybe I should leave this till tomorrow. I don't know. Hopes we're not high here, folks. Let's see. Oh, my arm fits. <laughs> like a nice little backpack. Okay, 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 okay. It's working. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I did what I was doing. I don't know why it was confusing me so much. Get off, but it worked. So <sighs> now I'm just gonna continue in the exact same pattern, just with holes here now. Should be easy enough. It looks so much bigger though than this. But I counted and it should be the same. I hope it's not more, but why wouldn't it be more if it's so much bigger? I made a mistake about a bajillion years ago, so I have to go back so much and I don't know how I just I just sensed it I was like uh, working into this last chain here and I was like, oh like what I'm doing so well Like what if I accidentally skipped this at some point? So then I looked at this and here we go <laughs> That's so many hours of work probably that's probably everything that I've done today though not impressed not impressed at all. But other than that, <laughs> let me check the other side actually. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it on. <laughs> ah, the yarn's too much of a mess. I don't even know if I'm doing it right anyway. So this would be sewed like this. And this feels tight right now, but that's just because I'm wearing a, a baggy sweater. So I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be fine. I literally only had one more row to do. Ah ha ha. Life. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> it has literally been weeks and I'm only doing this now. I am really hoping that... Where did it go? That this is the hook that I was using because I don't remember. But that seems right, I think. Very much looking forward to all of the unraveling that is about to take place. Ah. <laughs> it is my Friday today. It's Sunday, but it's my Friday because I'm off work for the next two days. <laughs> So excited for the weekend. I have been working on this every time, every every day after work, but I only spend like two hours max probably. And the thing is one of these rows, a single row takes half an hour. <laughs> so, but I've gotten to the point where it's in the middle. Like when I fold it like this, it reaches the middle of the shirt. So I'm assuming that means it's it's good to go widthwise. I would need to sew these up across to see, but um, yes. <laughs> or should I do two more? Cause I'm at two, which is a weird stopping spot, but I feel like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I just have two rows of the white, but it's whatever. <laughs> I think. So now, since it's only, oh, it's actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. But we'll add on here and do a couple more rows just going back and forth, I believe. And that will feel so much faster. It'll be beautiful. I'm probably taking out stitches right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. It's so beautiful. I really do not like working with this yarn though, but I am trying to change. Why am I hair stuck? <laughs> I'm trying to change how I tension because I usually tension with my middle finger and apparently that's not how any, literally anyone does it. <laughs> so 
So I'm like, maybe I'll eat faster with my index finger like a normal person, because then it's like slightly closer. I don't know if it's maybe faster or not yet because this yarn is hard for me to use anyway. For some reason, it's very slippery. So yeah, we're on to the next step. Things are going swell. I forgot to do a yarn check. Here we are. So I just started the new green and then this is the white, but we only have a few more rows on the bottom to do and then some slivs and I think we should be fine. Hopefully I didn't just jinx that. Okay, I think I finished this part last night. It's just cause it's already pretty long. I don't think I need to do much more, but I didn't try it on so I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I will do more, I lied. Cause all I did was the extra two rows here and then another four rows of the green. But I guess I can do another four rows of white, four rows of green. So it's kind of sitting more where it sits on Vernon. <laughs> I just thought it was, I thought it was done. It's fine. I like making this, but I'm worried about the yarn, but I don't think I need to, but I also forgot that I need to make a collar as well. Fun times. Ta-da, I added my extra, can you even see? This is so, so big. My extra two stripes. And now I'm going to do the sleeves. Now it's been weeks since I've watched that YouTube video where the dude was making this shirt, but I remember that the sleeves ended up messed up and then he fixed them and then they were still kind of messed up. But like anytime that I do these shirts like square, not these shirts, I've never made this shirt before. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anytime I make like a square thing, you know, I just make everything squares. So I'm just going to make like a rectangle and it's gotta be going this way so I can't just attach onto here and make a sleeve, which is sad, but... And also, freaking, I don't know. I should have changed this in the middle of the row. Like there's four rows of each color. I should have changed it at like two so that there's even amount of color on both sides, but it's whatever. It's whatever, cause it's gonna be striped the other way anyway. So that kind of works out. I'm just going to grab this and see, using this as my swatch, my gauge, I'm going to see how long I want, or like how wide I want the sleeves to be. Cause I do want it to be nice and flowy. It probably will start here, or it hopefully will go over my shoulder a little bit because that's what I intended it to do. So it looks like I will do this many and then I'm also gonna measure this and make sure that that will, well I don't know because I don't know how I'm supposed to attach it to the thing because I would attach it like this wouldn't I? Just have like the sleeve like this and then attach it. Can I do this? So I can see what's going on and then attach it to this hole here. But then is it the right way? Yeah that'd be straight down. So then why can't I just attach? I'm so confused by this. Can I not just attach? attach onto here then and do the because if I attach onto there then the stripes will be down this way you know what I mean just attach on here and go stripe around why is this confusing I just really don't get why they made the sleeve so complicated when it could literally just be square like is it complicated or is it just because it's folded in I'm kind of mad at Vernon for not just standing like this for a second during this so I could see what's going on I have decided that I am just going to attach onto here and start going around and around because that's the easiest option and who's gonna Gonna know who's gonna know it's gonna look the same hopefully we'll test it out on this side and if it doesn't look the same then that's that's my bad <laughs> i crocheted a few rows of the sleeve to see if it will work but i didn't really think it through because really i should have sewn this part together first so i could really tell but now i would have to like fasten off and attach it again which i don't want to do but look at that that's fine i don't see why they don't make it like this whoever it is that makes these i don't know i feel like it'll be perfect. My dishwasher is running. It sounds like it's pouring water out. I don't know what's going on. Okay, it is years later. Again, we're back. I did a hat challenge video and then I did a blanket challenge video that I didn't finish because my wrist hurts. <sighs> So I've decided to come back to this. I hate coming back to projects that I've done for a while. I'm talking quietly because my windows are open. All I need to do is sew this together, sew this side together, and then sew on the collar if I can find it. I think I didn't finish crocheting it, but I don't know because I cannot find it. It's on my bed somewhere, but it's gonna be a mess. Oh, here it is. That was easy. It's this long. I don't know if that's... It's still attached, so like I wasn't sure, I guess, when I stepped. I'll sew this together first and then we'll see. Anyway. Okay, so I have it laid out all pretty, so it's less confusing for me. I'm gonna sew it, but not all the way because it comes out a little bit like this at the end. So I'll just leave it... Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I haven't looked at a picture in a while. <laughs> I should probably do that. From this super high quality photo, we can tell that it's really not much at all. So I guess I'll just leave like the last 
stitch of the green plus whatever's left of the white. And if you remember what I said earlier about wishing that I like split this white part properly so it was the same on both sides, this now messes up this. I guess it's okay, but it just means that I'm going to be, you know, these are gonna be meeting this way. I'm gonna be sewing the white to the green and the green to the white and the stripes are gonna be opposite on both sides. But I suppose it's whatever, originality. I don't know. I don't don't know what I did or why this isn't working like this is so close to the thing so it's not gonna like hang down like this like I would expect it but I don't know how to make it do that and I don't know I just don't know <laughs> I don't know anything so I left it a bit bigger because as you can see the neckline is gonna be or the neck like whole I don't know what to say I don't know what it is the collar it's gonna be so tiny like ow sitting on my foot weird anyway I'm gonna do this other side the same but again I don't know I feel like my collar that I did is actually too long now so that's nice I don't have to crochet anything <laughs> I want to crochet though. I'm very much happy with the sleeve length though. It's perfection. So <laughs> I sewed this entire other side and then realized as soon as I finished that I had somehow turned this right side out before starting this. So this is sewn this way and this is sewn the other way. Why the freak? How did that happen? Or maybe it's okay. I'm kind of just looking for an excuse to stop this because I don't want to do it. No, because I would have started on this side, but then why is this? I was so convinced that this was the wrong side. Oh, I'm so confused. I just really don't want to do this. I really don't like sewing, but we'll put this on anyway and we'll see. Because I might have to take it apart anyway. Because it's really weird like why is the why what did i do wrong like why why i was so confused what am i supposed to do because this doesn't come out that much further maybe i'll just leave it like this <laughs> i hate sewing i hate figuring things out actually i like figuring things out but i really don't like working on a project project for this long <laughs> i feel like i could do this and be like close enough I don't know about the collar. I don't know about anything. I don't want to do it anymore. I just unraveled a bunch of this. Okay, oops. Like that's way too long now. But if it was shorter, it wouldn't make sense either. Like, holy freak. I need to look at the picture. I don't know why this is, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think I get it now. I think it makes it look like it's all the way sewn because the collar, it's the collar that's sewn to here, not to the back to here. I really don't want to talk myself down, but I'm not the smartest when it comes to like working out how things go together. I just have to trial and error, it. trial and it, what? I'm not the greatest at speaking either. <laughs> so I guess I do have to unsew this probably like halfway, maybe to like here, so that it's more like a relaxed fit. And then I can put on the collar and the collar might have to be bigger then. I don't know. Who knows? I'm eating my own hair right now and it is disgusting. <laughs> oh. Okay, hair freaks me out. Fun fact, what is phobia of hair? I, I don't know, but I think I have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I can't promise that I will work, continue working on this tonight. I wanted to have it done to get it out of the way with, but now I messed it up. So not today. <laughs> Here we are years, maybe even centuries later. I'm so done. It's done. Technically, I made a lot of mistakes and I've re-sewn and unsewn so many times. I don't know. So I ended up taking off a little bit, as you probably recall, because I probably filmed it months ago, that I went right to this edge here. Wasn't good enough, so then I, I went back and left this much space. So it's only really sewn together this much, if that makes sense. This is a sleeve. And then I realized, because I forgot, that I sewed one seam outwards and one seam inwards, so that's annoying. And then I was halfway sewing the collar on and the collar I didn't have to add to, which was nice. I just had to redo all the stuff that was pulled out because it was sitting and packed and thrown around so much that it came undone a little bit. I got halfway through this and then I realized the nice side needs to be on the side that, you know, is flipped down. So then I unsewed it and then I re-sewed it like that. And then whenever I just finished this a few minutes ago, I realized because one of the seams of the shoulder is a lot worse than the other. This seam is the one that's a lot worse than the other. And I looked at this so much time, so many times I can't even say that like, oh, I should have looked, oh, I should have double checked because I looked at it so many times. So I don't know how it happened that now 
now this is the way that it has to be worn with this really ugly seam facing out or else this really ugly seam of the collar is gonna be facing out. All in all, it looks amazing. I will try it on for you guys. I love it if it wasn't for the mistakes. If people can just look at it from afar, that would be nice. Because <laughs> you get too close and you see all the mistakes. You see where I carried everything and everything. And no, I'm not weaving in ends, okay? But look, how amazing is this? Okay, it looks, excuse me, it looks perfection. Okay, look, look, look. I know I'm wearing something underneath it. I'm not changing, okay? Look. <laughs> I count this as a win, even though I messed up so many times. I just looked in the mirror, the collar doesn't actually look right, but um, I'm done. <laughs>